put the power cable in. And your data cable. And that's it. Alright, so we got some technical difficulties. Right now, Diego's trying to figure out what's going on. But you know, it happens, happens to every tech. You know, you have your problems. But that's the point of being a tech. You troubleshoot. Mike. And so, right now we're trying to troubleshoot. Don't worry, we'll get the job done and we'll be back on the build. Yeah, it is. Now that we have feeded all the cables from the power supply through, we're going to go ahead and connect them into the motherboard. We're going to start off with our main P1, which is going to power the whole board, and that's going to go right in here. You want to make sure that when you do this, you want to have some fingers to hold the motherboard upwards. That way you're not bending the board because this is a big cable, so there's some pressure involved. So make sure that you hold it in place, make sure it snaps in. Next thing we have our CPU cable. Uh, we did feed the CPU cable under the case so it's coming out through here on the side and it's clicked in here. And last we have our SATA for our hard drives. I'm gonna snap that in as well. Alright once everything is in we can go ahead and power on final steps before we uh, boot on we have to connect a few things here in the back for example our power very important you want to make sure that you plug this in you also want to make sure what voltage it's on you want to make sure it's on the correct voltage uh, another thing video for our monitor so we got this DVI going into the faceplate that in. And Ethernet for internet. Some other things that we need. Your mouse. And keyboard. Now we're ready to boot. Turn it on. So if you've gotten to this part of the lab, you're about pretty much done. You're waiting for it to boot. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Like I said in the beginning of the video, we had several cables uh, that were supposed to be for the front panel that went into the motherboard. That, those are some LEDs as well as the USBs and audio jacks. So we're going to go ahead and power it on. <laughs> so if you reach this part of the lab you're almost finished you're just ready for it to boot on so we're going to go ahead and do that now as I said in the motherboard there was several cables for the front panel that includes your USBs your audio jacks and your uh, power we're also going to have LEDs for the fan so we're going to go ahead and see that turn it on and it's on we have LEDs now on the fan and if we take a look at our screen, we have post, which means the computer did turn on. Uh, and that's, that's your PC build. If you like this content, please leave a thumbs up below. And catch you on the next video.